This really cracks me up. I dumped a bucket of eggs all over you as a prank. I can't believe you didn't see that coming. Maybe this will teach you not to prank me all the time. It's what you deserve. Oh my god! How dare you prank me with a pile of nasty eggs? Do you have an idea how pissed off I am? Dude, chill the fuck out. This is only a harmless prank, and to teach you a lesson. Chill out. Huh. Chill out. Are you fucking serious? You just made me smell very nasty, and now I have to take a warm shower, thanks to your stupid prank. Well that is not my problem. You should have thought about that before doing other horrible pranks to me. So this will teach you not to fuck around with me all the time. Okay, no. You will not get away with this. It's just you and I to have a battle. Oh, so you really wanna fight, huh? Well bring it on old man. I am not afraid of you. <laughs> oh my god. That show was absolutely hilarious. It made us laugh our asses off. I know right Eric. And it even made us laugh so hard, we are going to fall off the couch. Ha <laughs> ha. That was just so funny how Simon got pissed at Paul for pranking on him by dumping a bucket of nasty raw eggs all over him. I agree. This is for pranking him back for what he has did to him. We can just stay up watching this and laugh about it all night long. I agree with you guys. This show has got to be one of the best shows we have ever watched in a very long time, and we just can't stop laughing about it. Haha. <laughs> so boss, do you remember what tomorrow is? Yes I do Owen, tomorrow is an Easter Sunday, and we have a big day tomorrow, so I'm afraid we can't stay up and watch this later on, because we need plenty of rest to avoid getting exhausted and have it ruin our day. Quick question, are we all gonna buy some Easter eggs and some baskets? Just making sure. Yes we are Yuma, we will go to a store and buy some Easter eggs for egg hunting. Oh, okay. I got it now. <laughs> <sighs> oh man, we are all getting very tired. Yeah, we are. We were all very busy today, and that leads us to already feeling exhausted. Can we please all go to bed now? I really need to lie down on my bed and get plenty of sleep. Yes we can. We all have a big day tomorrow anyway. But Tuck, I don't feel like explaining anymore. Let's just all go to bed. Okay everybody, now that we are all ready, we can go to the store and buy some Easter eggs for the holiday. But before we go, who is ready to get this day started? Me. Me. Alright, it looks like all of us are ready. What are we all waiting for? Let's go out and have some fun together. Alright. All right. Well guys. It looks like we are standing right outside the store. Let's all go inside. Okay. All right, gang. Now that we are inside the store, we probably need to look around and see if there is any extra Easter baskets. So let's start looking to make sure if we find something. Huh? We don't see them anywhere. How frustrating is that? Holy, that egg is so big. I have got to go check this out immediately. Whoa, 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 Yuma. Wait for us. Oh my god. This egg is so enormous. And it's green with yellow dots and a green Easter basket. This egg will for sure definitely be the perfect fit for our Easter party. Yuma, what are you doing by that? Holy. That egg is so big. Damn right it is. I have never seen an egg that big in person before. Wow. Just never, never seen this in my entire life. This is gigantic. I cannot agree with you guys more. This giant green egg is bigger than all of us. God, 
I just can't stop looking at that thing, it's just so big that our eyeballs wanna fall out. Um, well, uh, we don't know you much, that egg sure is big, and it can be heavy for us to carry, plus, it may cost a lot of money, so we are not sure if we can buy the whole thing. Oh, come on, that's not fair. I really wanted the giant Easter egg for all of us, and I thought it would be a big surprise for our Easter party, but I guess not, since we can't buy it. We know, but it's just too hard for us to carry, and it's a waste of money. Actually, there may be one solution to how we can afford this. But besides just me, we all probably need to think about it. Huh, now that you mentioned it, I suppose you're right. How are we all gonna carry this giant egg and afford it? And who knows? Maybe we can all just carry it with our superpowers, and use each of our money to pay for it. Wait, you just gave us an idea, Owen. Oh really? And what's that? Well, it's like you said, we can just all carry it with our superpowers. After all, we are the heroes, and we are all very, very strong, and we will also use each of our money to buy it, as if we all got plenty of money. So, what do you guys think of me and Owen's idea? I agree. It looked like we were a little off topic for a second there. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Well, I don't know, but let's just not talk about it and grab it all together. And you, Mom, could you please not run off like that again the next time we come here for something? Because we almost lost you, and you could have gotten us kicked out, as if we are not allowed to run across the store. Oh, sorry guys. I was just so excited that I couldn't help or control myself by seeing this giant green egg. It's okay, Yuma. We forgive you. Just please try not to do that again the next time we come here, okay? Okay, I will try not to. You can trust me. Well, what are we all doing just standing here and looking at this giant egg? Let's all grab it together with our strongest superpowers and purchase it at the cash register. So, so yes, sir. Aren't we forgetting something? Oh, shit, we forgot the basket. Oh my god! The bib is so enormous. I have never seen one that big in all of my life. How did you guys manage to lift up the whole thing, including the basket? Well, we are just using our very strong superpowers, as it is probably about a thousand pounds heavy, including the basket. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Okay. But still, I don't find it possible on how people can carry an Easter egg that big and heavy. But it's just insane. Oh, and before we forget, do you know how much this whole thing costs? Just making sure. Oh, I don't know. I also don't know how I can scan it, because it's just so big, not has a scanner on it. Well, we are not sure either. How on earth do we find out how much the egg in the basket costs? Or how much they both weigh. Actually, we do have a bigger scanner. It's mostly for bigger objects like this one. And we also have the weight machine to tell you how heavy it is. Oh, that actually sounds like a good idea. We would really like that, please. Okay, I will do it right now. is for sure a lot of money, which is not really surprising, because we find it possible to be expensive, as it is so big, but we didn't think it would cost this much. And this is exactly what the ball said. It weighs about a thousand pounds, which is very heavy. I know it's a big shock here, but that's just how it is. Well, since we found out what the total price is, it will be five hundred dollars please. Sure, we can all pay for that together. Okay, you're all good to go. Hope you all have a happy Easter. Thanks, and you too. Come on, everyone, let's lift this egg and basket up, and we can just get this entire thing out of here with beyond logic, since it's too big to fit between the doors. So yes, sir.
So guys, how are your days going so far on this lovely Easter? It's going good, Preston. It is a lovely Easter Sunday, where we get to go egg hunting. Agreed with Holden. Today is a lovely day for Easter, especially with no troublemakers trying to ruin it. Nothing can spoil our day. You two are right about that. Me as well is also enjoying this beautiful Easter Sunday. And let's just hope that no very evil and vile troublemaker tries to spoil it, such as either the teenagers next door, or the Alanistiums. Agreed. Oh, hey adults next door. How are you all? Holy. That is one big egg. I have never seen one that big before in my life in person. I cannot agree more. How did you guys manage to afford an egg that big? There is no way we could. Well, it's a long story, but we need to put it somewhere where we can all put it. Do you guys know where we can put this giant egg at? Because it is actually making our arms tired. Sure thing. You can just put it over there right behind Solo Solo if you want. But my god, we cannot look away from that thing, especially since it's my color with yellow dots all around it. Okay, that's fine by us. We will do that right now. I still can't get over the fact that the egg is much bigger than us. And another question, how did you bring that all the way here? Well that's a good question. We used one of our strongest superpowers to carry it all the way here, including the basket. But we weren't the ones that came up with this idea. Yuma was the one who wanted to buy this giant Easter egg. And we all paid for it together with our own money since we got plenty of cash in our hands. Also, if you are wondering how much this weighs or cost, it weighs about a thousand pounds which is what I guessed, and about five hundred dollars for both the basket and the egg. So yeah, that's pretty much how we got it here. Wow, that is pretty insane. No one can carry a giant heavy egg that easily, not even us. Yeah, that is just so impossible to carry an egg that big. Especially when it's super heavy. Like holy shit, it would probably hurt our backs if we ever tried to carry that thing, or even when we first start to lift it up. You guys are just incredibly strong, stronger than us. We know. It was an insane idea for us to do as well, but I just couldn't help the fact that I have a lot of interest in it, since it looks both really cool, and pretty at the same time. We see. Say, would you guys like to help us get more of the Easter eggs prepared for just the eight of us? We still got plenty of more besides just these three baskets with some in them. Sure, we would be more than glad to. Okay. Now let's all go do this. Okay. okay. Well, as we're out in the middle of nowhere, I don't see the trouble we will cause today. I don't know either. It's like we are out here for nothing or something. Yep, same feeling as you guys. Even though that we are together, there is still nothing fun for us to do. Why are we even out here anyway? I know that it sucks being out here doing nothing, you guys. But at least it's better than staying at home being stuck in our boring rooms while grounded and forced to eat nothing but lumpy potatoes and other crappy stuff. Oh, and speaking of eating stuff, I just wish that there was something to eat, which is normal food. I am very hungry to eat a lot of food right now. Well like what I said, at least there is no eating that pile of lumpy garbage, because it tasted so gross. Hey guys, look over there. Huh, what is it you see? Oh my god. That Easter egg is so big. We have never seen one that big before in our troublemaking lives. And it's much bigger than us. And what's even better is that, no one is there. Wow, that egg sure looks incredibly large. We never knew that what we are about to do is the best trouble we will do yet. What are you talking about boss? How is that causing trouble? Well what I'm saying is that, we should just steal not only the Easter egg, but the Easter basket as well. That way, we can all have the candy to ourselves without sharing it to anyone. How do you guys like that idea? No way. That has got to be one of the best ideas ever. Boy are we glad we have the leader of our team as smart as you, who always come up with the most evil trouble we're about to cause. Oh we're all definitely on this one. Now it looks like we didn't come out here for nothing after all. We came out here to cause more trouble, except it's the best one yet. Oh you are so right about that. 
and besides, once we do steal it, and have the candy to ourselves, we will finally eat normal food for once in a long time, because all we do is just eat those nasty lumpy potatoes, and a whole lot more gross foods we were forced to eat. This will be way better than eating the same nasty foods every day. You have absolutely no idea we're in for it. Like Isabel said, it's way better than eating that pile of dog shit every single boring day. We no longer regret coming out here anymore, because the day is about to get a trillion times better than it was a few minutes ago. But wait a second, how are we all gonna carry the whole thing at once? I mean, it looks pretty darn heavy to see from here. Well that won't really matter, because we will just use our super strength to lift it up without any of us getting hurt. Oh okay. We get it now. Alrighty then, teenagers next door. Let's go grab and steal both the Easter egg and the Easter basket. Pray that we don't get caught. <laughs> okay. It looks like we are back from what we were doing. Hey! Get back here with our egg right now. Adults next door, go get them, quick, and don't let them get away with it, as if we need that giant egg for our Easter party. We're on it. Come on gang, let's go stomp those five teenage thieves. And remember, do not let them get away. Get back over here you five teenage egg stealers, you will not get away with this for much longer. Guess what, Orion? Life is not fair. Now shut the hell up with that no fair bullshit already. But back to what we were going to say until we got rudely interrupted by that stupid no fair cry baby. Teenagers next door, we have all caught you red handed. Do you all really think that stealing a giant Easter egg is a good idea? Well, think about it, because whenever you steal something that isn't yours, you will face some serious consequences for all of your horrible actions. And what you five did today was unacceptable, especially since we paid $500 for both the egg and basket. If you think we can't stop you, think again, because you are all in big trouble. But instead of calling the police to have all of you arrested, we will just call your parents and tell them what you did to ground you. Since it's an Easter Sunday, and we don't feel like we're in the mood to phone 911. Hurrah, we don't want to get grounded by our scary parents and siblings. Please, don't call our parents to ground us. We are very sorry for what we did. War. Oh, quit crying like Dave the Childish Ad Andrew. This is you and the rest of your rotten teenagers next door gang zone faults. Andrew's fucking idiot. How fucking dare you steal a giant Easter egg from the adults next door? Preston Town, Holdenville, and so on as all. Do you even realize that stealing stuff is a serious crime, and you can get arrested for it? You for sure are damn lucky you didn't go to jail today, as it's on Easter Sunday. You know what? That is so it mister. You are grounded until New Year 2024. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing. And I mean, absolutely, nothing, but lumpy potatoes, Swiss cheese, raw eggs, raw vegetables, prunes, and many other disgusting foods for every meal, including dessert. Now, go upstairs to your room, right now. Oh my god. Orion, how dare 
you steal a giant Easter egg from the adults next door, Preston Town, Old Infant Will, and Sola Solo. You should know that stealing is very illegal, and you can get arrested for it. What you did today was absolutely unacceptable. You are so damn lucky that the adults next door didn't all the police on you, as it is an Easter Sunday. You know what Orion? That's it. You are grounded until the new year of 2024. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing. And I mean, absolutely, nothing, but lumpy potatoes, raw eggs, raw vegetables, Swiss cheese, prunes, and many more gross foods for every meal, including dessert. Now, get your ass upstairs to your room, you stupid big brother of ours. <coughs> Oh my god! Isabel, what has gotten through your thick mind? How dare you steal a giant Easter egg from the adults next door, Preston Town, Holden Pudwill, and Solo Solo? Do you even realize that stealing anything like that is a serious crime? And you can get arrested for it? You were damn lucky that the adults next door didn't call the police on you, or else you would be in much bigger trouble than you're already in right now. That is so it Isabel. You are grounded until New Year of 2024. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, but lumpy potatoes, raw vegetables, raw eggs, Swiss cheese, prunes, and many other nasty foods for every meal, including dessert. Go to your room right now. Oh, oh my bleeping god. Early, you know good for nothing daughter of ours. How dare you steal a giant Easter egg from the adults next to door, Preston Town, Holden Pudwill, and Solo Solo. You should know that stealing stuff is just wrong. And you and your friends are lucky you didn't get arrested, as it is an Easter Sunday. That is so it young lady. You are grounded until New Year 2024, which is over 8 months away. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing, and I mean, absolutely, nothing, but lumpy potatoes, raw eggs, Swiss cheese, raw vegetables, fruits, and many more gross foods for every single meal, including dessert. Go to your room right now. Oh my god. Ethan, what the fuck is wrong with you right now? Why would you have the nerve to try to steal a giant Easter egg from the adults next door, Preston Town, Holden Cavill, and so as although? You should realize that stealing is very illegal, and you can seriously get arrested for it. And you were for sure so damn lucky they didn't call the police on you, as today is an Easter Sunday of 2023. You know what? That's so it, young man. You will be grounded until the year of 2024. So that means you are grounded for nearly nine months. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing. And I mean, absolutely, nothing, but lumpy potatoes, Swiss cheese, raw eggs, raw vegetables, prunes and a whole lot more gross foods for every single meal, including dessert. Now, get your bald ass upstairs to your room right now, you stupid older brother of ours. Adults next door, thank you all ever so much for stopping those evil teenagers next door from stealing our giant Easter egg. Yeah. Thank you so much for saving Easter of 2023. If it wasn't for you, the teenagers next door would have gotten away with their evil schemes. Thank you ever so much. Oh, you are very welcome boys. We were not gonna let those five most dangerous and evil vile troublemakers get away with stealing our giant Easter egg, nor ruin Easter Sunday of 2023. Oh and by the way, while you were all chasing those five teenage scumbags, me, Holden, and Solo Solo hid all the eggs everywhere for just the five of you to find. Wait, really? Yes, really. We hid about 50 eggs everywhere for each and every one of you to find. And whoever gets the most eggs, wins. We also set five empty Easter baskets, so that you each get one. You may start now if you want. 
Are you kidding? Of course we would love to start now. Yeah, I agree with Owen. Me too. This will for sure be a lot of fun. Well, what are you all waiting for? Go and have some fun adults next door. And good luck with finding as many eggs as you can find. Sir, sir yes, yes sir. sir. Hey guys, we are back from egg hunting. We see. And how did it go? Did you guys find all 50 of the Easter eggs? Yes we did. We found all 50 of them. Yeah, and we are all ready to find out who got the most eggs. Well guys, B, Preston and Holden will count all the eggs with Vian logic, so that it doesn't take too long. That's fine by us. Okay. We are done counting all the eggs in each basket. And we also wrote the number of eggs in each basket all on the list, so that we don't forget. Are you guys ready for us to tell you who is our winner? Yes. yes. Okay. We will now tell you who has collected the most eggs. The winner is... Uma. She got the most Easter eggs. She has collected 20, Andy has collected 10, Izzy has collected 8, and Eric and Owen have both collected 6, so they are tied. Holy shit Yuma, that's twice as more as I collected. Yeah. How on earth did you find that many? Well I do not know, it's probably because I went to one spot that had lots of eggs in one whole area. So it was pretty easy actually. Well good job for collecting the most eggs Zuma. We couldn't find that many in one go. And not to mention that me and Owen got the least number of eggs, except we're tied. But anyway, congratulations for collecting the most eggs. Or. Thank you so much everybody. That really means a lot to me. You're welcome, you mama.